This video is going to go through comma rule number six. This one's a little bit trickier than comma rule number five, uh, but this one is all about adjectives, but more specifically about coordinate adjectives, which we'll talk about what that actually means. Um, it says use commas to separate two or more coordinate adjectives that describe the same noun. Be sure never to add an extra comma between the final adjective and the noun itself. So I have two examples on here. Here we have you are a cruel, wicked person. We have two adjectives right next to each other, um, and we have a comma separating both of them. Um, remember, adjectives are words that describe a noun so that dis or a pronoun, so they describe a person, place, thing, or idea. Um, so cruel and wicked both describe the person. He is a kind, helpful, caring friend. Here we have three adjectives right one after the other, um, and we have commas between each one. Kind, helpful, caring, all those describe the friend. The non-example down at the bottom says, she hates her old car. Here we only have one adjective. We don't have to worry about it at all. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated than this. But um, for now, I want you just looking at um, the adjectives that are right next to each other and noticing that quite often we will separate those with commas. So in um, our first set of practice problems, we have um, generally pairs of uh, adjectives right next to each other that we're going to put commas between. So John is my friendly, outgoing neighbor. Um, we have friendly describing neighbor and we have outgoing describing neighbor. Those are both right next to each other. And we're going to put a comma between them. <coughs> Did you see that strange, awful movie? Um, kind of a strange sentence, but again, we have strange right here and awful right here, both describing the movie. We're going to put a comma between them. Jim stopped to look at the old, rusted, broken down car. We have old, rusted, and broken down right here. So we're going to put commas between each one. Maria waved to her cheerful, energetic friends. We have cheerful and energetic. We're going to put a comma between them. Katie and her friends ate at an unclear, unappetizing restaurant. We have unclear, unappetizing, both describing restaurant. We're going to put a comma between them. Then Ron misses his fuzzy, cuddly, golden retriever. We have fuzzy and cuddly, both describing the golden retriever. If that's all it was, it wouldn't be too complicated, but of course it gets a little bit trickier. So it's not enough just to check whether or not there are multiple adjectives right next to each other. Um, we have to check whether or not they are what we call coordinate adjectives. The essential check for this is whether or not the comma can um, be replaced with the word and. Okay. So it says some adjectives are put together without a comma. To check these, ask if you can use the word and between each word. If you cannot, do not use a comma. Here we have again, you are a cruel, wicked person. We could replace the comma with the word and, and it would still make sense. You are a cruel and wicked person. It might sound strange to replace multiple commas like this, but it still sounds fairly logical to say he is a kind and helpful and caring friend. It just sounds a little bit um, repetitive. However, sometimes you will have two descriptive words right in a row, like blue and basketball, both describing shoes, and you might wonder if you need to put a comma between them. However, if you said, could I borrow your blue and basketball shoes, it would sound ridiculous. So since you cannot replace that space, that comma, with the word and, you do not use a comma at all. You just leave it empty. This is the first good movie I have seen all year. Again, it would sound really strange if you said, this is the first and good movie I have seen all year doesn't make sense. So these are not considered coordinate adjectives, and you do not put a comma between them. So if we look at this set of practice problems, um, there will be some that do not need commas at all. So we have misplaced and left in this first one. Leo misplaced, or sorry, Leo found his misplaced left sock. If we said his misplaced and left sock, that would sound strange, so we leave that completely blank. Greg and Tom stopped to watch the slow, boring, never-ending parade. We can say, Watch the slow and boring and never-ending parade. So we put commas between each one. Harriet wants a new little kitten. Um, Harriet wants a new and little kitten. That doesn't sound quite right. So again, we 
leave that one blank. Jenna cleans the dusty and abandoned room. In this case, we can put a comma between them because the word and makes sense right there. Carla stumbled on the rough, uneven ground. On the rough and uneven ground, that makes sense. Okay, so again, we have rough and uneven, both describing ground. And then Diane led the last company meeting. Um, we have last and company as our descriptive words, but it wouldn't make sense to say Diane led the last and company meeting. So we leave that one completely blank. That's it for comma rule six. Please be careful with these because um, it's very easy to get mixed up since some require commas and some do not. Um, I would recommend that you practice the problems on your worksheet and again get help if you need it um, before moving on to the video for comma rule number seven.